Hey guys, so today I want to talk about rotating an actor constantly in a game. So there are some ways to do it. There's this um, movement rotating actor, rotating movement, um, which is based on event tick. I would say there's this um, using event tick to constantly rotating your actor. And the way I'm gonna um, propose you to do so, because to save performance, you know, because all we're talking about in this channel is um, mostly developing games on Android, uh, on mobile phones, where uh, we are so limited by performance. So what I'm gonna do um, is, I would say that let's go ahead with uh, using a material to do the rotating actor. So I've um, already created the material to save some time. So this is the material, it's just everything's default. Um, this is just a value, just a uh, hold three, uh, it's just a constant value. There's just some values for metallic, spe specular, roughness for myself. These are just nothing that you should be worried about. What you should be worried about though is um, this note here world position offset so just a little disclaimer here i read uh, at some forums that some older devices if you're using some older version of unreal engine 4 you shouldn't i mean uh, if you're using an older version of unreal engine 4 and an older version of uh OpenGL render which is i believe es2 uh, this thing is not supported there. What you should do is just type full. Um, just make sure to check use full precision in here. I'm not sure this method would work though because I haven't tried it, but this is what I've read before. Anyways, let's get back into what we're, um, what we're doing. So, um, Coming into word position offset, there's this node called rotate about axis. Rotate about axis, you can just easily find it. Uh, I'm using a vector parameter because, you know, so if you change the parameter values in the vector parameter, the rotation you get around the axis will change. This is what we're going to use afterwards. Uh, for rotation angle, I'm just using time data. You can just go ahead and use some math if this is too fast or this is too slow for you. Um, the period point for us would be object period point, which is pretty uh, simple. And for position, of course, we're using absolute world position. Uh, this is the material that we're using right now. You can just go ahead and um, Right click create a material instance from it. If you want to use the material instance, but I'm going to use something else. So in, um, in the blueprint class that we're going to use, I'm just testing it with a cube to show you guys. Um, so go to the construction script and I'm just using a dynamic material instance. I'm not using a material instance though. I'm just using the node for the sake of you know, just showing it to you. Um, just go ahead and drag cube here, create dynamic material instance, select your material that you want to use, just name it something, and then um, use this node, set vector parameter value with, uh, this must be the name that you've specified here for your vector parameter and just promote it to a variable, yeah. And make sure that this variable is exposed to public, so you could just easily um, change it in your default section of your blueprints. So let's go ahead. Um, let's just test what we're gonna get. So with changing, these are um, XYZ values, XYZ axes, so it's like, you are changing x, y, z axis of um, of your BP, so it's just it works that way. Uh, 
and yeah, it, it doesn't work in a way that if you just put 0 0.5, it works with half of the speed. No, it's not like that. It's, it just works in this way that you put just one. Or it's like, consider this way, you have a little bit of value here, it um, rotates the, the blueprint around the axis of x with this value and around the axis of z with this value. So it's not like you can easily control it. All, all you can control is based on x, y, z value. So if your um, blueprint is a little bit to this side, you will definitely have some problems. And it works well, but if you use this one, you'll definitely have some problems because this um, this method is really really tied to your uh, to the absolute world location as we've specified here, and um, it just it depends on where your actor is and what is the rotation of your actor. These are the limitations that this method has. But uh, when it comes to performance, this method is really performance. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. And if you wanna if you want me to um create another videos and other ideas and other problems that you might be stuck in, just let me know in the comments. Cheers.